everyone and welcome to my studio slash studio tour I will probably also add a little bit of vlog material at the end of the studio tour because I want to do some painting today and I thought why not also show you this but now let's get on with the studio tour as you might have already recognized I have a lot of these wooden IKEA shelves as well as these white IKEA boxes and these folders down here. This brown folder I actually got from TK Maxx, which is a pretty good place if you're looking for a little bit more extraordinary storage. And in these folders, I basically store all of my drawings, at least the ones which have made their final cut to be turned into actual products in some way. And over here we have my brown craft paper envelopes, which I always need a lot of, so I always make sure to have plenty of them in storage, as well as these blush envelopes I have down here. They are actually also recycling envelopes. I know they don't look like them, but they actually are, which makes me very happy. And I store them over here because my desk is right there. And when I do some packaging, I can just reach over here without even having to stand up from my chair because I'm lazy. And below the envelopes I have all of my art prints stored in those thick cardboard envelopes. Packing material for my art prints I got in the shelf over here. I use these brown cardboard rolls along with these little stickers which I put on top of them to make it look cute. And since we are already here, over here I got all of my paper samples, which I got from different printing companies. And I don't know how this is handled in other countries, but in Germany, if you're interested in a paper from a printing company, you can either just ask them or check out if they have an option on their website, because most of them actually send out these sample books for free. And I find that quite handy. These little books are actually perfect to check the thickness of the paper because even if a paper says it's 300 GSM, it's not always the same on every paper because the thickness of the paper is not only depending on the weight of the paper but also on the volume. So it's always best to feel the paper to see if it fits your needs. I really hope this is interesting for you in any kind of way because at the moment I really don't know what is and what not. <laughs> Good conditions for a studio tour. Staying at the shelf, I got my scanner on top of here, which I use for all of my drawings, as well as one of my printers. If you're interested, I will write down the names of my scanner and all of the printers down in the description box. So if you're interested, check it out. Also, I have to say that I'm rarely using this printer anymore, since I more or less replaced it with this one down here. It's a laser printer, and if you've worked with an inkjet printer, you probably know that they can sometimes be a little bit fussy. <laughs> so I just figured it's a little bit easier to work with this laser printer since I'm not printing that much at home these days anyway. And over here we have the last printer I have, promise. <laughs> it's a A3 printer, which I bought when I started my business. And it was actually perfect for cards because it can take on very thick papers. I think the thickest paper I printed with was a 400 GSM paper, so that was just perfect for I handed the printing out to a printing company. And right beside it we have my little corner of shame. <laughs> I don't know if you've recognized it yet, but I'm a hoarder of packing material. <laughs> when I'm purchasing something in store which is breakable and needs a lot of paper to be wrapped, I'm always stoked because that means I get packaging material for free. Well, technically not for free because I've bought something in the first place which needs to be wrapped, but you know what I mean. I also have this a little bit more pretty shredded colored paper, circle paper, however you want to call it. But I'm only using this for special packaging jobs because honestly when I'm using this I could also use shredded money. <laughs> That's how much it costs. I think I mentioned this in one of my earlier vlogs that this table is kind of my dumping table where I throw all of the stuff which I don't want over here. And I haven't changed anything about it so far and probably never will. <laughs> but anyway, this is my main working table. I got the legs also from Ikea and they are adjustable in height which I think is pretty awesome because I actually got them a little bit higher than the standard height. 
so I can comfortably pack everything while standing, which is pretty great. And over here I got all of my brushes and ink pens and black pens in general in those little glass jars, which were originally olive jars. <laughs> here are some liquid watercolors. I don't use these tubes too often because I mainly use my hard Spinke tabs. I honestly don't know how they are called in English, but you know what I mean. You've seen me using them a lot. And another staple, which always has to be in my desk. Some snacks. I know this might sound a little bit crazy for an artist, but these are actually my only watercolors I haven't used, even though watercolor is my main medium of painting. But I don't know. I really love these watercolors and I never felt the need to replace them, even though I tested all the watercolors. So yeah, what should I say? I'm already a packing material hoarder. At least I'm not a hoarder of everything. Also, I gotta say that I got some more acrylic paints over here. Um, let me put it down for a sec. These are all of the acrylic paints I have, which I rarely happen to use anymore. That's why I have them down here. I mainly used them when I was painting on canvas and did abstract painting, which they were great for, but I find them quite annoying for working on paper. I don't know, maybe that's also just my personal taste, but yeah, so it is. And over here we have my trusty little old folding machine, which I actually got from eBay. And I honestly have to say that this thing is one of the best purchases I ever made for my business. It basically helps you to fold cards. So when you have a plain paper, which is a little bit thicker, you just slide it in there, press this thing here down, and then it creates a notch so you can fold the card more easily. And that's basically all of the magic this little thing here does. In this basket over here, I got some of my most used packing stuff, like this washi tape over here, and an address stamp, a circle cutter, or however you want to call that, which I use for cutting out stickers for my orders. And yeah, nothing too fancy, just some regular packing stuff. Also, two vlogs ago, I repotted this Monstera, which you might remember if you've watched it. And look, it's already getting another baby leaf. So yeah, that's basically it about my studio. I hope I showed you everything you wanted to see and if you have any questions, let me know. Other than that, let's roll on with the studio vlog. You might remember that I did these vegetable drawings a few vlogs back and I also did them in Procreate, but the Procreate version was absolutely not what I was going for. I will try to insert a pic of the Procreate version here. I was much happier with the watercolor version, but still not 100% happy because I actually want to do an art print with these. The art print will involve a lot of different vegetables and fruits and I think it will look much better if they are not so detailed but a little bit more raw and abstract and that's actually the look I want to achieve. So today I will basically draw these vegetables again but in a little bit more abstract way. And I'm excited to see how this will turn out because my natural style is to always add more and more detail. So this will actually be kind of a challenge for me. That was definitely worth giving it a second try because this version looks so much more than the version I had in mind when I was thinking about the project. Let me just really quickly show you the difference between the first watercolor version compared to the one you just saw me drawing. If you're a fellow artist, you can probably relate that it's not always that easy to bring the idea you have in mind exactly like that onto paper. Sometimes, but it just gets lost on the way. But with the outcome of this, I'm actually pretty happy right now. Also, I will have to draw a lot more of these fruits and wedges in the close future. So I really hope you're not already sick of the Migrosis. No, okay, bye.